This is a Canon EFS 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens. And I think this lens is underrated. So why would I, with an F5 and some expensive full frame DSLRs, be interested in a cheap plasticky lens for crop sensors? Well, this lens offers two things that my expensive wide angles just can't. This lens has both image stabilization and super smooth stepper motors for the focus. That's the STM part in the name. Both of these things are really useful if you're doing handheld work and maybe using autofocus. Um, all my expensive Canon wide angle lenses, they make a clicking noise when the focus goes. There's a different motor. I think it's called USM, something like that. I'm hoping that the STM motors are quiet and I can use autofocus. I know what you're thinking. Why would a cameraman with 40 years in the industry be interested in image stabilization or autofocus? I think it'd be a sad day if cameramen stopped trying new things or new ways of working. I mean, that's, that's where the creativity comes, isn't it? Besides, even old times like me need to get down with the youth. So what I'm essentially trying to set up is the perfect vlogging camera, I suppose, but um, using this camera. Come meet me on that camera. Hello. What I want to do is not use a heavy Canon DSLR. I want to use a GH4 or even the GH5 if uh, the fun prevention officer will let me. Um, it's small, it's light and uh, flip out screen. Perfect if you're vlogging. It does 4K, 100 megabits per second if you want it to. Really nice and small. And the Metabone Speed Booster the 0.64 version, XL, I think it is, on the GH4, effectively turns the micro four thirds size sensor into an image size, which is like uh, an APC size sensor or Super 35 size sensor when you're shooting video. So this makes the GH4 and hopefully the GH5 an ideal B camera. When you're shooting in video modes, certainly, and a speed booster on a GH4, this should enable EFS lenses or any lenses designed for crop sensors to perfectly cover the sensor. So, um, where's my red dot? Shit, it doesn't fit. This lens has um, a raised bit. Um, it's actually higher than the contacts. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it stops it stops it fitting inside the speed booster which is a real pain because this was going to be a good solution maybe I need to saw that off okay what you need to do is make sure you've got a sturdy chopping board and a very sharp knife remove the rear element I I would I would wind back the zoom so that the glass element is not near the end and maybe put your fingers over the contacts there so it you don't get bits on the contacts and then I'm joking right please don't try that at home there's a better way uh, what you actually need screwdriver lens cap off and there are four screws holding the plastic pack plate off you need to get those out they're not too tight Okay, there are also two tiny little screws which are holding the contacts in place. So worth getting those out as well. One, two. Now, the whole back plate comes off leaving the the lens open to the elements put that to one side what we are going to do is cut the excess off the top so that we can fit it on an EF mount I've got a Dremel Ta -da! Yeah. <laughs>
The piece that comes out the middle will just break away. This needs a bit of sanding down. So that really is a two minute job if you've got a Dremel. Also, if you've got a hacksaw, it'll take a bit longer, but um, this plastic's quite tough. And what you're doing is you're cutting out the center from the um, back of the lens mount. So that's gone. And now this, uh, give it a wipe, make sure it's all clean and smooth. And fitting it is just the reversal of taking it apart. So six screws and it'll all go back together. Okay, what we've done is removed the center of the back of the lens, just the plastic piece, and it allows the rear element to, to rise up and down. You can see the electronics of the lens inside. I might be able to seal that with a bit of rubber or what have you, but um, to be honest, the plastic that was on there originally wasn't, um, wasn't airtight anyway. It, was, it wasn't protecting dust or water or anything. So um, it's just really cosmetic. Perfect. Turn it on. All the way out to 10 mil. Image stabilization and autofocus. Hey, it's all working. You're looking at the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter EFS lens on a speed booster, on a GH4, and it's all working. Autofocus works and the uh, image stabilization is working and um, I'm well chuffed. Let's go and have a look and see how it works in the real world. Bournemouth in the sun. I love this town and it's so much more exciting than New York. I'll be honest, the autofocus on this GH4 doesn't work as well as the Canons with their dual pixel stuff. It's okay, it works, and it's a problem with the GH4, it's not the lens. The lens is fine, but I think I'm going to have to get a Canon. Eat your heart out, Casey Neistat. So 